Welcome to today's lecture on cell biology, where we will be exploring the fascinating field of lung development and regeneration. Our focus will be on understanding the intricate processes involved in the formation, maintenance, and repair of this critical organ. The lungs play a crucial role in respiration, allowing oxygen to enter the bloodstream and removing carbon dioxide. Understanding the cellular and molecular mechanisms underlying lung development and regeneration is essential for advancing our knowledge of respiratory diseases and potentially developing novel therapeutic interventions. So, let's dive into the complex world of cell biology in the context of lung development and regeneration. Epithelial stem cells play a vital role in lung development and regeneration. They can renew themselves and differentiate into various cell types in the lung. These stem cells are responsible for the formation of respiratory epithelium, including alveolar and bronchial cells. In adults, they ensure continuous repair and regeneration of the respiratory epithelium. Epithelial stem cells are located in specific areas of the lungs, namely the bronchial tree and alveoli. The regulation of these stem cells involves molecular signals and transcription factors. Studying them is important for understanding respiratory diseases and developing therapies. In the video, we will explore the role of mesenchymal cells in the development and repair of the alveoli. These connective tissue cells support and guide the growth of the respiratory epithelium during lung development. They also contribute to the formation of capillaries in the alveoli for efficient gas exchange. Additionally, mesenchymal cells are involved in tissue repair and remodeling in cases of lung injury or disease. Understanding their interactions with epithelial stem cells is crucial for developing treatments for lung diseases. The blood-air barrier in the lungs allows for efficient gas exchange. It is formed by alveolar epithelial cells, endothelial cells, and a basement membrane. Disruption of this barrier can lead to respiratory diseases. Understanding its formation and function is crucial for studying lung diseases. Lung development and structure are shaped by genetic and molecular factors. Specific genes, like NKX2.1, SOX2, and FOXP2, control cell types and organization. Signaling pathways such as FGF and SHH are also important. Understanding these processes helps address lung malformations and respiratory disease treatment. Pulmonary hypertension, high blood pressure in the lung arteries, causes lung structure changes. Alveoli, responsible for gas exchange, become scarred and dilated, reducing surface area. Understanding these changes is important for developing treatments and preventing lung damage. In the section on alveolar regeneration and therapeutic interventions, we explore the promising research in replenishing damaged alveolar tissue. Stem cells, growth factors, and gene therapy techniques are being studied to promote repair. These advancements could greatly benefit patients with chronic lung diseases. In the section on the role of mechanical forces in lung development and alveolarization, we learn that stretching and tension are critical for these processes. Fetal breathing movements and ventilation generate these forces, influencing cell behavior, differentiation, and tissue organization, ultimately contributing to healthy lung development and function. In the video on lung development and alveolar structure, we explore the communication between epithelial and endothelial cells in the lung. Through signaling molecules, these cells work together to develop and maintain the blood-air barrier and facilitate gas exchange. Disruptions in this communication can lead to lung diseases. During late fetal development, the lungs undergo critical maturation, involving the production of surfactants that reduce alveolar surface tension. In preterm births, incomplete lung maturation can lead to respiratory distress syndrome, RDS. Understanding these processes is crucial for improving care for preterm infants. Animal models have played a crucial role in advancing our understanding of lung development and providing insights into human lung biology. By studying lung development in animals, researchers can gain valuable insights into the conserved cellular and molecular processes that underlie lung morphogenesis. Comparative biology approaches, which involve comparing the lungs of different species, further enhance our understanding of lung development. By studying different lung architectures and developmental strategies across species, researchers can identify key regulatory genes and evolutionary adaptations that have shaped and optimized lung function throughout evolution. The use of animal models and comparative biology approaches provides valuable tools for unraveling the complexities of lung development and translating this knowledge into clinical applications. In addition to epithelial stem cells, alveolar stem cells have emerged as critical players in lung homeostasis and repair. Alveolar stem cells reside within the alveoli and have the capacity to self-renew and differentiate into alveolar epithelial cells. These stem cells play a vital role in maintaining the integrity and function of the alveoli, replenishing damaged cells, and facilitating tissue repair. Their regenerative potential holds promise for developing novel therapeutic strategies for lung diseases characterized by alveolar damage, such as acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, 
and idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis IPF. Understanding the behavior and regulation of alveolar stem cells and their contribution to lung homeostasis and repair is crucial for developing targeted therapies and regenerative medicine approaches. Beyond genetics and molecular factors, environmental exposures can significantly impact lung development and have long-term implications for respiratory health. Various factors, such as air pollution, tobacco smoke, and prenatal exposures, can adversely affect lung development and function. Air pollution, including particulate matter and atmospheric pollutants, has been associated with impaired lung development and increased risk of respiratory diseases. Similarly, prenatal exposures to toxins, such as maternal smoking or certain medications, have been linked to structural and functional abnormalities in the developing lungs. Understanding the mechanisms by which environmental factors affect lung development and their long-term implications is critical for implementing public health measures to mitigate exposure risks and prevent respiratory diseases. In conclusion, the study of lung development and regeneration is a complex field with exciting potential. Investigating different cell types, genes, and environmental factors is fundamental to understanding lung growth and function. This knowledge is crucial for improving respiratory health and developing new treatments for respiratory diseases.